coming to you from Truth or Consequences in the United States of America, a nation of narcissists with a bad case of cognitive dissonance, the right shrugging sucks to be them shoulders at women as they take the right to control their bodies from them, while the left shrugs the exact same shoulders at the women they left behind. Welcome to America, home of the American fascist nationalist narcissists. Oh, never mind. Not welcome. Nope. America should be closed. Immigrants are threatening our majority, superiority, purity, advantage. While the left claims to be tolerant, just, and welcoming, they continue the fascist agenda, passionately joining in narcissistic gaslighting and victim blaming too. The right fights the truth that leads to a shared reality as every single prediction fails. I get it. If an eye for an eye was all I knew, then I would be terrified too. Fortunately, the earth cannot withstand any more eyes for eyes. Forward, different ascension is the only option left. Those yearning for normal and fighting to go back to a maskless, colorless world also believe they are preserving our constitutionally protected rights while embracing the Texas Taliban and the creation of abortion bounty hunters. Is it really because those in power are pro-life or because 60% of abortions are white? When ICE sterilizes those fleeing Terror? Is it pro-life too? Uterus-hungry gynecologists are rewarded for eliminating brown-skinned babies. Abortion bounty hunters are rewarded for eliminating the birth dearth too. No, no, it's pro-life and all lives matter. It's not anti-choice and clearly lives of color don't. White supremacy reigns supreme. Always focusing on race is the problem. If enough people believe it and feel it, then we know it is true. Except feelings are not facts, no matter how passionate. Believing is not proof, no matter how shared. Manifest your reality with the prosperity gospel and law of attraction. Allow this patriarchal hijack for the new age. Divorce from empathy and intuition. Embracing ego, exaggerating, generalizing, and objectifying. Strengthening our inner patriot, I mean patriarch. Look away from that which you do not want. Push away from those vibrating lower. If you believe it, it is so and feel it is so then it is so except it isn't denial is stagnation the first stage of grieving if negative emotions are the enemy if anger and fear are forbidden then denial is the destination and ascension is impossible look around now eyes wide open while you were only seeing what you wanted feeling what you wanted having what you wanted, pretending that bad things don't exist, manifesting your best life, rejecting those vibrating lower. How are all of those you are one with faring? How are those forced to rely upon you doing? How's it working out for those who trust and need you? Are those who are different, looking, feeling, believing, acting, really the enemy? What has to happen for all of it to finally matter to you.